Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by for watching the video again. Um, this week I'm doing uh, um, another study with the carbon disc from ArtGraph. Um, again, if you didn't see uh, last time, car the carbon disc uh, was supplied to me from uh, Speedball and they asked me to uh, to try it out, and I did, and I and I really like it. Uh, the carbon disc acts like a, I don't know, it's like a like a little watercolor palette, I guess you could say. Uh, you can use it like uh, like a pencil or a crayon, and just and just mark directly on the paper. Uh, or you can you can wet your brush and use it like uh, like watercolor. Uh, so it's really cool, and allows you to put in some really nice values, some really dark dark blacks and uh, and diluted enough to get some really nice grays. So this week, um, this was a sketch that I did. I actually did this sketch last week and I already posted it on, on Instagram and, and Facebook and Twitter for everybody to see. Um, it was for uh, May the 4th or, or Revenge of the, of the 5th, I guess, because uh, I, I posted it out a day late. Um, but, uh, so this is, uh, Grandma of Tarkin, uh, Peter O'Toole. And so I started off by just, uh, doing a, a regular pencil sketch, uh, laying out the, the form and, and kind of drawing in the shadows, where the shadows to be, uh, because I was using graphite, uh, the liquid graphite, um, I was, went, I went ahead and was a little bit more generous in, in rendering out the, uh, the, the image. Uh, normally, I probably wouldn't do that, especially if I'm going to be working in watercolor. Uh, I would let the the, the paint um, dictate the volume. <clears throat> so, just like any other watercolor process, uh, I started off by uh, wetting wetting the background pretty good, so that as you can see, um, this stuff just explodes when it hits the hits the water. Uh, just like watercolor wood, so it's really awesome. Um, this stuff, like I said, the, the the wetter it is, or the the more diluted it is, the the grayer, the lighter it's going to be. Um, so as this video progresses, you'll see that I I've gone over this a couple of times, um, just to kind of build up those values and make the the darks dark enough uh, to really pull off what I was trying to do, which was trying to. Um, get a nice contrast between uh, the light side of his face and the, and the background. Uh, I tried a variety of brushes as I went through this. Um, you saw I just use a, a flat and, and now I'm using my um, silver black velvet uh, watercolor brush on this. Um, I did use that brush today when I was um, doing some, some watercolor painting. And I thought that I had it rinsed out really well. Uh, apparently not because some of my colors got a little bit a little bit muddy. Um, so I don't, I'm not sure if the graphite is just hanging on to the, to the bristles. Um, but yeah, you, will, you want to be sure that you get your brush rinsed out when you're done with this. I'm, I'm not, again, I'm not sure if... if um, I'm sure that I rinsed it out well enough when I was finished with this project. I, I'm, I have a habit of doing that. Uh, but why the, the what caused the, the brushes to muddy it up? Um, I don't know, like I said, unless unless the bristles just happen to like to hang on to the carbon a little bit better than it than it, than it would uh, the watercolor. It kind of makes sense, but I don't know, we'll see. So as we go along here, as you see, I'm just filling out, blocking in the shadows over top of what I had already sketched in, uh, playing with the volume, or playing with the value, rather. Uh, and ultimately, the, the goal of this is to push the contrast, so white whites and black blacks.
One thing I did notice here, um, when using the the heat gun to go in and, and dry everything, you see here I just pushed uh, push the tape back down. The, the paper wants to curl. I don't know if this is something that's, that's standard across all kinds of watercolor paper. Um, you would, I, I kind of get it. Uh, the, the heat is, is making everything tight and wants to pucker and you know, like with with the water on it, and it just you know the reaction just kind of makes it would want to do that. Uh, I didn't expect that to happen um, <clears throat> with watercolor paper. Uh, I just expected the 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 moisture just to be evaporated and, and it to just dry. Uh, let me know in the comments if you guys have uh, if that's just the way things are. If you have experienced the same thing. Um, I'm fairly new to watercolor, so again, just um, let me know what you think. So I have a Patreon page. Actually, Joyce or Amber, Joyce and I have both have a Patreon page together. Um, it's uh, Patreon.com/slash/MTGAltergirl. The uh, the address is up there in the upper left hand corner of your screen. Um, we're working on uh, on several projects uh, right now. Uh, we're putting together a lot of the uh, sketches and illustrations that we did in the in the sketchbook. Uh, where that we had a review online, so we we scanned in all those images. We put all the originals up on our Etsy. Um, we're making prints and uh, sending those out to our patron patrons and and uh, uh, we're uploading uh, coloring book pages. If you want to uh, take those and, and print them out and color them or. They're PDFs, so if you even want to do it, color them digitally, that would be awesome. Uh, post it on uh, Instagram or Facebook and tag me, so we would all love to really see what you what you've done done with this. But yeah, go check out our Patreon and uh, see what kind of goodies we've got on there. Uh, we think that you really like it. So here I'm going over this with some uh, white gouache. Um, again, if you haven't used gouache, it's it's more of a an opaque uh, watercolor esque kind of thing. It, it works a lot like watercolor. You add water to it, it dilutes itself. Um, it reactivates with water very easily. Uh, like I said, it's very opaque, so I use it to to go in and, and put highlights in or uh, draw wispy stuff or what have you. Um, it worked really well with this and uh, you could easily do the same thing with color. I just use the white but you can easily go in with the same thing with colored, dilute it down and just use it as a wash if you just want some spot color here or there. I think it probably look pretty cool. Changed my mind. I really did not like that harsh line that I had for the uh, for the background shadow for the background transition. So I went in um, with uh, some really diluted uh, carbon and, and just and just put it on the paper to just to kind of help um, soften that up, make it a little bit more of a of a gradient. Um, not a true gradient, mind you, but just just something that's that's less than just a hard edge. 
So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you again next time.